Hi, I'm Graeme Steele, CEO and founder of CryptoSense, and today I'm going to talk about secure multi-party computation. Uh, so what is it? So in secure multi-party computation, a bunch of people, the parties, are going to get together uh, and they're going to agree a computation, so a function or something they're going to calculate uh, together, and then they're going to calculate that same function uh, on data that each one of them is going to provide, but without actually sharing the data, without revealing the data that they have to the other parties. Uh, so a toy example that's often given for secure multi-party computation that helps to understand is what's called the millionaire's problem. Suppose that the parties are a bunch of millionaires, they all want to figure out which one of them is the richest, but without revealing exactly how much money they have. And secure multi-party computation allows them to share details about their wealth in a kind of masked way so that in the end we find out who the wealthiest is, but nobody's actually given away uh, what it was that, that they actually uh, have in wealth. So that's a toy problem that was solved in a cute way uh, way back in the 80s. Um, but secure multi-party computation has come on quite a long way since then and is now being used in a more industrial way on problems like um, sharing uh, cryptographic keys across um, different parts of the cloud in a secure way. Or calculating the winning bid for an auction. So nobody reveals their bid, but we work out who the winner is. They've recently been proposed for some pretty interesting areas in financial services, so replacing dark pools, for example. So a dark pool is a uh, private service where a bunch of people can get together and submit uh, information about tradable commodities or, or, or stocks or shares or whatever they would like to buy and sell. And the dark pool will match up the buyers with the sellers and they can make the trades. But there's always been uh, worries there about, for example, leaking information or partially leaking information about who wants what, which can, of course, make a big difference to pricing. So using secure multi-party computation to uh, financial institutions, for example, could get together, submit uh, their data and calculate an agreed calculation about who wants to buy what for how much and find out uh, what trades they can make, but without revealing the other things they would like to buy and sell that would obviously uh, affect the price. So secure multi-party computation is a really hot area right now, a lot of interesting application areas and a lot of companies out there moving to help uh, people use it. So it's still something that you would need experts to be able to deploy for yourself. Um, but if you want to find out more about it and see some more references uh, for more information, we've got an excellent article uh, recently on the blog written by Jared McGuinness that you'll enjoy reading. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest news on cryptography, and I'll see you again here for another video soon. Mm -hmm.